Hi everyone, it's me Emily. Today I will be decorating my campsite on my Kid Court Island. Whilst I am going to try and keep within the Kid Court aesthetic for this build, I also really wanted to explore some more pastel colours and just make the build a bit more overgrown and busy so it's not super kid core but i really hope you still enjoy the style that i took with it if you do enjoy the video then please consider leaving me a comment letting me know if you did like the way i designed it or if you have any suggestions for how i could make it better the first thing i am doing is you'll see i already have this brown pathing laid out and then i wanted to come in with my nine tile custom path and start placing it down to help make it look like weeds and flowers have spread right over the main dirt track and i am going to be quickly skipping through this part and you'll be able to see the whole design right at the end but i thought it took me quite a long time to get my pathing placed correctly so i just thought it would be a bit more interesting for you if I kind of run through this part super fast and then you can see how it all turned out. But I placed the nine tile path and then I also came through with some sparkles and some weeds just to really emphasize that very overgrown and busy look that I was going for. So this is it all finished and I do show it in a bit more detail at the end of the video so make sure you stay around for that. I'm actually grabbing some fruit off of this tree to eat because then I want to dig up some other trees and use them in my build. I was really excited to design the campsite because I knew I could use a lot more trees and flowers than I normally do on this island and just experiment with a slightly different style from what I normally go for which I think is really fun and I do love how this build turned out. I'm also loving cherry blossom season at the moment because my trees are all pretty and pink but I'm sure this will still look fine when it does go back to green. And then I'm just going to cut down this bamboo because I didn't want it to be a part of the build and where it was so close I was worried it might interfere. And then what you'll see me doing is digging some holes and the reason I do that is because when I know I want to use flowers in a build I sometimes forget to leave spaces for them and then they end up looking a bit busy and just hard to place so I thought by digging holes I will remember where I wanted to place them. Unfortunately I couldn't get an item to fit that close to the campsite but that's okay I just had to rework it slightly and place down a custom design here instead and I went for the house because I thought it was quite cute when you're at a campsite you can see a little home because you're you know staying away from your home I just felt like that was a cute idea and then this mushroom on top of the mushroom stand is one of my favorite things to do I think it's so funny and it just looks really really sweet And then on my other mushroom platform I placed the puppy plushie and I think that is adorable. One of my favourite items in this game most definitely. Here I am just coming in with a dark dirt path and creating a little walkway for you to come through. I think this will be really helpful for when I release my dream address so that people don't get stuck in this area and not sure how to get out. You can just follow this walkway right through. However, I doubt in my regular gameplay I will be coming up this area because I normally head over my land bridge. Then I'm placing some plants so that it looks like someone has been doing some farming, maybe showing off the local flowers over here. Because the kind of whole idea of the campsite is that you want to impress the villager that comes and visits and convince them that you want them to stay on your island. So it's really important that it looks all pretty. And then you'll see I'm just placing down some custom designs to go under my furniture pieces because I think that can help make it look a bit more interesting. And that's something I do a lot on this island and I think it's quite traditional in kid core designing as well to place lots of different layers over each other. I love how it looks. And then probably my favourite custom design ever, I think it's so sweet, is the hopscotch. Very nostalgic for me because it used to be one of my favourite playground games and so definitely wanted to include that. I'm just adding some custom designs onto this pathing. And if at any point during this video you like some of the designs I use, I do have a video called 100 Kid Core Design Codes where I go through every single code that I have saved on my island. Or you can always just leave me a comment letting me know what design you're looking for and I will help you find it. 
I place down this public bench over here and I'm just putting it into the right position for me. And then that just meant I had to shift over my hopscotch slightly so that there would still be room for both pieces to be seen because the hopscotch was getting a bit covered up by the bench. And then this strawberry jelly is so pretty. And then another one of my favourite codes is this cow. I feel like I don't normally use it on my island just because it can be a bit tricky to find a space that works well to just have, you know, a cow lying on the ground. But I think it looks really cute here and the black and white actually contrasts quite nicely with all the pinks I had been using. On this table I tried to place the flamingo but he didn't fit so instead I went with a tiger butterfly model and I think it looks so cute and definitely helps with the overgrown and natural theme I was going for in this build. Then out behind here I was thinking what I could place just to fill up some of the space and I went with this bear design code, he's on a piece of bread and I love him, I think he's so cute. And then I'm actually going to be using the pergola. This is one of the new items added in the update and I hadn't been able to use it just because it's not very fitting with my kid core theme. But I found that it actually worked really well on this build just to kind of pull all the pinks together. And so I was really excited that I finally got to use this item because I think it's so pretty. I'm just placing down this candy design. And then I'm trying to put the drinks machine over top of it. And of course, because I'm doing quite a pink theme, I went with pink again. And but the way that I ended up placing it meant that you couldn't actually really see the candy, but I think that's fine. And then I'm using the round topiary here just to add some more green and a bit of brightness to the build. And then I'm coming over to my hybrid garden and stealing some pink flowers so that I can use them on the build. I also took the lily of the valley because like I mentioned, if you're trying to impress a campsite villager, I feel like the lily of the valley is really effective because it kind of emphasises that you've hit five stars. And then I also picked some yellow just to add some contrast so that it wasn't all pink. And I'm just coming through, kind of remembering where I wanted to put flowers and just filling up some of the little gaps within this build. And then my very last flower is being placed right over here by this drinks machine. And with that, I am done with the build. So here I have the beautiful pathing leading up towards my campsite, a place to stop and sit and listen to some music. You can come up here and get yourself a drink and then come through this woodland path and relax under the trees or by the pergola. I think this is such a pretty and relaxing build, very pink and yellow and I really hope you guys were able to enjoy it. You can let me know what you think in the comments and consider leaving a like if you did enjoy. You could also subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any of my future videos. And with that, let me thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!